When you see a ROM called Liquid Smooth, you expect it to be fast and smooth. Guys, let's check out this ROM and see if it lives up to its name. Okay guys, so today I installed the latest version of Liquid Smooth ROM and this is version 2.9. So I've been running earlier versions of this ROM on my S4 and they've all been really nice, smooth and fast. And this one is a whole lot better. So the first thing I want to point out are the animations. If you go around the phone and for example open apps, you can tell that there's a lot of different animations that they throw in. We enter settings, new animation, entering for example interface, you get new animations. And there's just a bunch of animations that make it look really smooth and elegant on your device. Even when you go home for example, let's open here and go home, or actually let's go into app and click home, it slides up and there's a lot of different transitions that you'll notice as you're going through the liquid smooth ROM. So, this of course is running the latest version of Android 4.2.2 and it is version 2.9 official. So this is basically kind of like their stable ROM releases. So, almost all the S4s are supported. Basically all the S4s in America, I'll have the links down below so you can check them out. Uh, international S4s might be supported if they all have a separate link for them down below. So if we go home and we just kind of go through the UI, you can tell that it is fast and smooth and that's why it is probably called Liquid Smooth ROM. It comes uh, installed with Nova Launcher, uh, not the premium version, the free version. You can install the premium version if you want. They don't throw any out of the ordinary extra apps into the ROM. They do add DSP Manager to control your music. They add Apollo Music Player. And they also do add Trickster Mod, which if you enter and allow a super user request, it will allow you to change different settings of your CPU and processor. So, of course, Liquid Smooth is also known for lots of customization options. So if we go into our settings, we do have a category for Customize and Interface. So if we, for example, let's start off with Interface right here we get a bunch of different options we do get the halo feature so you can enable halo basically if you have had facebook messenger before and you could have the little bubble for your person you're talking to basically it allows you to do it with any app i have reviewed that before you also do get some customized options here like to customize your clock widget a custom carrier label and what you want to happen when there's a low battery warning if we go in a lock screen uh, you get the usual stuff from AOKP that you would get and you could add different widgets, customize the buttons and choose if you want any other targets. If we pop out of that, of course we can enable the navigation bar if you want. I suggest not to, oops, because <laughs> I like to have more screen real estate. So we do get the performance category which takes us to performance control not trickster mod so you can use this if you want to it's really cool that they give you a bunch of different options to choose from if we pop back we do get Pi controls from paranoid android so you can enable that too so you do get the two very popular features right now halo and Pi controls uh, we do also get power menu settings power widget settings quick settings status bar settings actually I want to pop in here and if we go into battery icon and choose the battery icon we get a bunch of different choices we could choose from and we could actually also go through and change the colors of the circles or the battery percentage itself we can also add a battery bar location or at the top of the status bar if you want to have that option we do get brightness control notification count a breathing miss call breathing sms and quick peek Basically what brightness control is, it's a really cool feature. You could control the brightness using the status uh, this notification area. And it works really well. And I should probably turn it down now. So next we do get 
notification count, as I said. Basically, it shows a little number of how many emails or messages you got right under the little logo. So once we've exited out of that area, that's pretty much what you get in the settings. It'll take you a while to play with and get used to all the different settings you do get. We do also get dark liquid. Uh, you enable this and it will give you a darker UI throughout the experience and the phone. For example, if we go to messaging, as you can see, it's black now. And I think in the email app, it darkens it too, as you can see. So, I mean... That's a cool feature, I don't really like it that much, so I usually keep that off. And it's pretty much standard on all the different ROMs, or at least AOSP ROMs right now. So when it comes to stability, everything is very stable on this ROM. As I said, this is a stable release. If we pop up into camera, camera works perfectly fine. We could take a picture of this Android right here. Go back, as you can see, camera's working perfectly fine and so is video recording and panorama shots pop out of that and yeah if you notice you do not get the 4.3 camera here you still do have the normal 4.2.2 camera messaging and phone does work as you notice I don't have my sim card in here right now but I did before I have it in my HTC one right now but it is very normal of what you would get on S4. So at the end, does this ROM live up to its name, Liquid Smooth? Well, I think it does. It is super fast, probably one of the fastest ROMs I've ever run on my S4. And it actually almost makes me want to go from my HTC One, which is my favorite device, to the S4 just because this ROM makes it such a better experience. Even just those little animations that they throw in really makes it feel a lot smoother and quicker. Guys, uh, this was a review of the Liquid Smooth ROM. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, do make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, ROM reviews for the S4, the HTC One, more devices when they're coming. And also subscribe for tech news and hopefully some more app reviews and game reviews coming soon. So guys, as I said, thanks for watching and bye.